Hi Russian learners, Oksana here. Welcome to my channel. Today we continue with our Russian studies and uh, the theme of today's video is going to be the gender of the soft sign nouns. That is how we distinguish the gender of the nouns ending in the soft sign or in Russian мягкий uh, знак. The problem is uh, this is a very huge group of uh, words in the Russian language, group of nouns. There are a lot of them and uh, some of them may be either mask some of them can be mascul uh, masculine gender, of masculine gender, some can be of a feminine gender, and there are uh, a lot of uh, like um, exceptions that you have to know. And I decided to make a separate video of on this uh, group of nouns so that it will be easier for you to understand and to remember. Uh, first, let's talk about uh, the uh, group of nouns, uh, soft sign nouns, that are of the masculine gender. So, uh, there are uh, several subgroups in this, like several rules. First, we have um, a group of nouns ending in the soft sign, which... Um, uh, denote natural males. So, if uh, you see a noun ending in the soft sign and the meaning of it uh, is um, is denoting a natural um, male, then it is of a um, masculine gender. Now, let me give you some examples uh, that you could understand. Um, for example, this uh, word, Karol, Karol, Karol. Uh, this um, noun means king, so king is a he, uh, the word uh, means a um, natural male, so, uh, this, so uh, this noun ending in the soft sign is of a neuter gender, belongs to the neuter gender. Uh, another example uh, of a word you might know, it's this one, Tsar, 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 you know it means Tsar, like Russian version of a king, it is ending in the soft sign, and it means a, a male, like um, a man, because of course uh, Tsars in Russian were only, only men, so uh, the word um, that, um, that names uh, this type of um, a ruler, it is of a, a masculine gender. But those are those are like the obvious examples. Let me give you some uh, another example that is not that obvious. For example, this one meaning ghost, ghost, ghost meaning uh, guest. So, um, like, uh, a guest can either be a woman or a man, of course, but in Russian, or well, like, historically, um, it um, became known that ghost uh, belongs to the masculine gender, but uh, it is ending in the soft sign, and uh, that you have to remember that ghost ending in the soft sign, meaning guest, is of a masculine gender. Uh, next, we have another interesting example, which is this. Учитель. Учитель. Учитель, meaning teacher. Uh, why do, uh, why, um, again, sorry, let me uh, give you first the explanation. Учитель is ending in the soft sign, and uh, it is of a masculine gender. Uh, you may ask, why is a teacher, a word meaning teacher of a masculine gender? Because, you know, like, uh, teachers can be either men or women. There is no, like, um, strict... Uh, like separation, but uh, this word учитель is of a masculine gender because we have a Russian, uh, a, sorry, because we have a feminine equivalent a word in Russian, which is, let me give you this one, учительница. Учительница. This is a teacher who is a woman. So meaning we have uh, a masculine version, Учитель, meaning a man, teacher. And we have учительница, учительница, meaning a woman, teacher, a woman teacher. 
And there are a lot of uh, these examples when um, we have um, a separate words for um, a profession which um, either a man or a woman um, has. So uh, a lot of them are ending in this uh, tail, uh, have this tail in ending for a uh, masculine form and telnitsa for a feminine word. So in this case, it is much, much clear why uh, uchitel is of a masculine gender, because we have a, a female feminine equivalent. I will not give you all of these um, words right now, because there are a lot. We will have a separate video on them when we talk probably about the uh, professions in Russian. Um, then let's have a second subgroup of uh, masculine gender nouns and in the soft sign. So, uh, these are uh, the uh, names of the mon months. Names of the months. Now, let me tell you that all of the names of the month in the Russian language are of the masculine gender. All of them. But uh, just to like be um, specific, there are some... Um, uh, uh, names of the months that are ending in the soft in the soft sign, and they are of the masculine gender. But it is uh, um, not like uh, super super hard to remember uh, because you have to know that all of the names of the months in the Russian language are of the uh, masculine gender. Uh, when we'll go when we come to learning the names of the months, you'll see them all. But right now, I'll give you like several examples. Uh, first, we have the first months which is Yanvar, 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 it is January, then we have the second month, which is Fevral, 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 February, uh, then we have um, this one, which is April, 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 meaning um, April, then we have Iyun and Iyul, Iyun, Iyul, meaning June, July. Uh, then we have Sintyabr, 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 meaning September. Then we have Oktyabr. October, 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 meaning October. Um, then, then we have Nayabr, 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 November, and the last one is Decabr. Decabr, Decabr, meaning December. So basically, all of the uh, names of the months in the Russian language are ended in the soft sign. There are some uh, names that I skipped because are, they have a different ending. But uh, all of them are of the uh, masculine gender. And in, in the, uh, but uh, I just, uh, since we're talking about uh, the nouns ending in the soft sign, I give you the examples of the names of the month uh, which are ending in the soft sign and which are of the masculine gender. Um, let me give you another subgroup of the um, nouns ending in the soft sign which are of the masculine gender. And this is the a group of nouns ending in this uh, letter com combination. Sorry, letter combination. Ar, ar, ar. Uh, and um, let me give you some examples. First one is this. We have slavar, slavar, slavar. Uh, it's ending in this combination of uh, three um, letters, A, R, and the soft sign, Ar, Slavar. It means dictionary, and it is of the new gender you have to remember. Uh, next, another example. Let me give you this. Um, it is a longer one. Uh, 
which is kalendar. 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 It is. Um, it means um, calendar, and it is an in, in the ar combination. It is of the masculine gender. Again, you have to remember. Uh, now let's go over the uh, soft uh, the soft side nouns. Uh, which are of the feminine gender. And the first um, subgroup is like with the masculine gender. It is a uh, group of nouns which denote a natural female uh, and an in the soft sign and thus belonging to the feminine gender. Let me give you the examples. The first one is this uh, noun, meaning uh, the noun mat, mat, meaning mother. Uh, of course, it is a, a woman. So it is of a feminine gender and in, in the soft sign. Uh, next we have this word, which is doch, doch, doch. It's ending in the soft sign and it means a daughter, daughter. Daughter is a, um, a person of a female gender, thus uh, the, um, the noun. The uh, the noun is of the feminine gender. Um, another example, oh, sorry, not example, but another subgroup of the feminine gender soft sign nouns is um, nouns ending in uh, this uh, letter combination. First is z, -n, z, n, and the soft sign. Then this. Ost and s. So uh, nouns ending in z, ost and s are of the feminine gender. For example, we have this word which is жизнь, 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 meaning life. It is ending in this combination of z, n plus soft sign. And it is of a feminine gender. Another example is this one, which is novost, 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 and in, in st, meaning in news. And uh, this uh, noun novost is of a um, feminine gender. Uh, next, we have this word. Подпись, подпись, подпись. It is ending in the s, s plus a soft sign, meaning signature. It is of a feminine gender as well, you have to remember. But of course, you already know one um, exception to this rule. We've gone over that uh, previously today. It is this um, exception, this noun, ghost. We've already learned that it is of a masculine gender, though it's ending in ost. This is an exception that, you, again, you have to know by heart. And uh, another subgroup, which is um, um, this combination of uh, consonants plus the soft sign, uh, this um, ch, z, sh, or sh plus the soft sign. So when uh, a um, noun is ending in either ch, z, sh, sh plus uh, the soft sign, it is of a, a feminine gender. Let me give you some examples. The first one is this one. Noch, 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 meaning night. It is ending in ch plus the soft sign. It is of a masculine gender. Uh, next, we have um, this one. Losh, 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 and in, in j plus uh, the soft sign, meaning lie, um, as in telling lies. Uh, losh. Uh, again, it is of the soft, of the uh, feminine gender. Uh, next, we have uh, this one, which is vish, vish. Vish and in, in the sh plus the soft sign meaning thing and it is of a masculine gender as well. 
Uh, next we have this uh, noun, which is mish, 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 ending in sh plus soft sign, meaning mouse, and it is of a masculine, uh, feminine gender as well. Um, so that's that. Uh, another group of uh, feminine gender nouns ending in the soft sign. It is um, again this a uh, combination of uh, consonant plus the soft sign. They are b, v, d, z, and. So uh, when you see a noun ending in either either d, v, d, z, t, it is of a, a feminine gender. But of course, if you are, have any doubts, you have to know to correct um, to consult with the dictionary. Of course, let me give you some examples. Uh, the first one is this one: любовь, 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 meaning love. It is ending in the a combination of V plus the soft sign, V, so it is of a feminine gender. Uh, next, next we have uh, this word, which is tetrat, 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 meaning notebook. It is ending in D, and it is of a feminine gender. But uh, let me tell you that there are, of course, some examples um, or exceptions. Exceptions. So they are the first one is this one. Golub, 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 meaning dove, and it is ending in B and should have been of a masculine gender by the rule, but it is of a masculine gender. Another exception is um, this one. Dost, 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 ending, ending in d, and it is of a masculine gender, meaning a rain. Uh, also, this word, lebit, 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 ending in d, meaning swan, and it is of a masculine gender. And, um, Another exception is this word. Gvoist, 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 and in ND, it is of a masculine gender, uh, meaning nail, a nail when you are like uh, constructing something and uh, you um, put nails into like a wooden um, things, nails. Um, so these are the uh, feminine gender nouns uh, ending in the soft sign. And there is also another third uh, group of nouns ending in the soft sign, which can be um, sorry, either feminine or masculine. So which are those uh, nouns? So these are the nouns ending in L, N, or R. So when you see nouns ending in these uh, letter combinations, they can be either uh, feminine or masculine. Right now I will give you um, a couple of examples, but um, it is just uh, to notify you that um, when you see a noun ending in these uh, letter combinations, you absolutely have to consult the dictionary to uh, know for sure which of the gender they belong to. Uh, let me give you uh, a couple of examples. First, we have this word we've already talked about in this lesson, which is Karol. Karol, it is ending in L, and it is of a masculine gender. 
but we can also have this word, which is um, this one, rol, rol, meaning a role or a part in a film or some other um, uh, spectacle. So, rol uh, is ending in il, but it is of a feminine gender. Feminine gender. So, you see that... Um, Two words ending in the same, um, having, having the same ending, can be of two different uh, genders. So this is just a uh, an example for you to see how um, tricky this can be. So you definitely, definitely have to consult the dictionary when you are talking about these words, when you are learning them, especially. So you have to learn them in their gender. Uh, correctly, so don't so you don't make any further mistakes, and uh, of course, um, dictionary is our everything. Basically, whenever you, when you are learning a new language, so that's it for today's uh, video. I hope this lesson was useful for you and you got some new information. Uh, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to support this video with your thumbs up. And please um, take your time learning this uh, new and a very important um, grammar rule. Uh, also, don't forget to um, uh, ask any questions if you have them uh, in the commentary section down below. Uh, please stay safe and good luck with your studies and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!